Yeah, this stress bench is has only one switch. You can operate it through one switch, and this is one touch operation. This is an emergency stop, and it can operate directly from this switch only. Now we will show you the operation of the test bench. So uh, first we select the injector part number. What injector we are testing? We are testing the part number zero four four five one one zero seven zero nine. So we select that injector, Bosch injector. Now we'll uh, show you the operation in test plan mode. We select the test plan mode. So test plan mode has these various tests inbuilt, about seven to eight tests. We can choose any test to perform. Click on it and click on start. Now we are starting the first test, which is the back flow test. Here you can see in the test plan. 1600 bar is the pressure setting according to the test plan so the machine will achieve this is the actual current pressure and once the pressure is achieved the injector starts on its own here you can see the injector parameters pulse width frequency and this is the recorded flow output delivery and return delivery so in this test we are measuring the back flow in the red lines that you see that is the nominal flow range where the according to the test plan what the flow should be now once the flow is stabilized then we can click on store and the test result will be saved in the report so see back flow test this is the result since it is in the nominal flow range that is why it is in green Now we will show you another test, maximum load test. Now this is the nominal flow range for the output delivery of the injector, 70 to 92 milliliter per minute. Click on store again, and in the test report the results are saved. Now we'll show you another test, emission point test. In this test, the pressure is slightly lower, and the pulse width frequency parameters are different. In this test, again we measure the output delivery. We wait for it to stabilize. Once it stabilizes at a nominal flow, we click on store again to save the reading. Go to report, and the reading is saved. Now we can uh, we can stop this test. Now to save all these test results on a PDF. Uh, on a PDF report, we click on print. Then we put in the name of the report that whatever we want to save, change current name. पहले से इस नाम से. You can put your customer's name here or whatever you want, and then click on save to PDF. Now you go outside on the desktop. There is a folder called reports. and here the test results will be saved so now this imt is the test report of the current test that we perform here you can see the bosch part number that we were testing and here we can see the test results you can print out this report and give to your customer and also one more thing that we wanted to show you 
that this simulator can also measure the uh, resistance value of the injector solenoid as well as the pump DRV. So for that we need to first stop the machine. And now my colleague will show you how to do the test. We go on resistance. Here you can see on the HMI touch screen also this changes to the injector health mode. Now we click on measure. So this will simulate the injector and measure the solenoid resistance of the injector. Here you can see the value. 0.7 ohms.